Hi everyone, welcome back for another Spellbinders Club Kits video. In today's video, I'm going to be crafting with the small die of the month for May of 2022. This is another stitching die and it is called Stitched Hello. Here it is and it's very similar to a small die of the month that came out last year and I'll show you that here in just a second. But you get the large piece and this is the piece that you stitch around. Then you get the dies that cut out hello and they are embossed with stripes and then some other little flowers and leaves to go with it. This is the April small die of the month from last year. And as you can see, it's very similar to the one for this month. And it spells out the word thanks. I'll link my video where I used this die at the end of this video. So we're going to do a little bit of stitching. Let me show you an A2 sized panel and it fits perfectly on this panel. It covers it completely. And if you like to do stitching, then this is a really fun die. Here it is all cut out. It looks cute just plain as well if you don't want to do the stitching. And then the letters go on top of that, of course. I went ahead and stitched this off camera. I've done a lot of stitching videos in the past and so I thought this time I'm just going to stitch it all off camera and show you the end results. I decided to pop this up with some foam adhesive. I'm using two different colors of purple cardstock from Spellbinders. The light purple is called Purple Mist and the dark purple is Royal Amethyst. I just love these two together. And then I used some Embroidery floss in teal and pink and green. I cut out the letters with some pink sand cardstock and I popped those up with foam adhesive as well. So this is going to be very dimensional. This is a great project to take with you when you have to go to different appointments and you have time just to sit down and work on this. You could do all of the stitching in one color of embroidery floss too if you wanted to make it super simple and it would look just stunning. You could even use gold, silver, or bronze embroidery floss around the whole thing. It would look really pretty. It's really fun to mix and match the color scheme of all of these elements for the card. So again, these letters are embossed with diagonal stripes. It's kind of hard to catch on camera, but it looks really pretty in person. Let's pop this last letter in place. And then I'm going to bring out a bunch of gems. So Spellbinders has a lot of pretty gems in their shop. And I'm using the smallest gems. They give you a lot of these in the different packs. And I'm just putting them in the centers of the pink flowers. This adds just a pretty and subtle touch of sparkle. And then I'm even going to pull out some purple gems for the little purple flowers. This set is called Prism. They also have the gold and the silver and a really pretty crystal gemstone if you want just a more subtle touch. We'll add one more purple gem at the bottom of this card. Now we can attach this to our top folding white card base. I'm just using some liquid glue to do this. Lately, I like to use liquid glue on almost everything instead of the dot liner. Just more bang for your buck. And this really great glue called Barely Art Precision Glue. So here it is all done. Your recipients are going to love getting these cards in the mail. I'll have the link to the small die of the month for May listed in the description box and you have until May 24th to get this club kit. And again, it's called Stitched Hello. I hope you enjoyed this rather short video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.